guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripper week because we only had a Man Cave Tuesday last week. Bloody brilliant. All right, so what's going on in this video? We get a new bike in the Man Cave. We try and master the art of soldering. Check out what Nay's up to in the woodshed. And we get some old but new tents arrive. Bloody -o, where are we going? The bike, the bike in the Man Cave. Hey guys, we've got Pete. Pete actually lives just around the corner. He's a crew member and he's brought around this. Check it out, it's a bloody scooter. Can you believe it? A scooter in the man cave. So what do we got, Pete? It's a Piaggio Fly 150. So that's so, right. An Italian company, but they're made in Vietnam. Um, this is a 2013 model. Um, haven't had it, had it long, it's only got like 600. 600, 700 k's on the clock. I oh, know that's crazy. So, so you've you've only just bought it. Yeah, the guy the guy never used it, just garaged it, but he. Well, yeah. I just used it to commute, commute to work. 250 k's on the tank, so yeah. seven, seven liter tank. Tanks underneath. Yeah, fill her up there. What we'll do is we'll we'll bring it out the back and we'll go through all the tricky little bloody bits and pieces that it's got on it. Um, so you've bought it, you bought it like two grand. Two grand. Two grand, which is an absolute bargain. I had a check on um, on uh, bike sales, and like roughly about four grand. Yeah. Yeah, three, three and a half. So yeah. you get it for two grand, and you'd only had 400 Ks yeah. on the clock. Yeah, and I've just done like 300 Ks on it. Yeah. Working back. Yeah. Well, I just work Brilliant. at the local hospital, which is like, I don't know, about eight Ks away. Yeah. So you're, you've got a, V Star Cruiser as well, yeah. Yeah. What, so what's that? A V? What size motor? That's a 650. Yeah, 650. Yeah. Nice blue looking one. Pretty all right. So get that out here. We're going to have a quick look at all the gizmos on it. Then we're going to take it out the front. I'm going to go for a quick ride on it. Then we're going to try and passenger on it. Cool. All right. Rightio, guys. So this is it. The Piaggio. Fly, 150cc. So what do we got, Pat? We got the both tire, uh, wheels are 12 inch. Yeah, 12 inch tires. The motor, the motor sits down. Yeah, underneath the motor. You, um, what do you want to do it now? Lift the seat up. Yeah, well let's let's have a look at the seat. Man, the storage underneath this seat. Pete was saying he can get two open-faced helmets. Um, in there. Booyah, check that out. So to access the engine, you've got like, these, take out these, just in, it's about four bolts. Ah, oh, so that lifts out and then these, you take... These two and then those two there. <laughs> yep. And then you've got access to the top of the engine. Yeah, so that's that's a fair amount of... Uh... But with the this as well, it, like, you get so much shit in there, it's like 36 litres apparently. Yeah, I actually just watched, Pete had a bit of a video footage that you went camping on it. And all the stuff you got in there, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Cool. So, you... one thing that I thought was pretty cool was, so the rear shock, there's only one rear shock, and it's on the side. Yeah, you've got a preload adjuster down the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah, so, on that side, but on this side, there's nothing. The front shocks are just your standard <coughs> shocks, so two obviously on the front. The you'll say the petrols under the is actually in here. Yep, so fill her up. There you go, look at that. Bloody brilliant. 7.2 litre tank. Yep. So current petrol price is nine bucks to fill her up. 250k's on a full on a full tank. That's around town, probably you'd lose a bit. Yeah. If you're going like um, on the highway. Going faster, yeah. Like it's supposed to do 100 k's an hour, but you'd be pushing it, but it'll, it'll sit between 80 and 90 quite comfortably. Yep. But between 60 and 80 is a, you know, around town. It's, That's where it's most comfortable, yeah. yeah. Cool, and then we've got the, the glove box. Which is a bugger to open sometimes, but we'll give it a go. And you're going to put the key in and you push, push it. it. Oh yeah, there you go. 
No worries. So a bit of storage here. You've got your battery here. Yep. So you got enough room there for a, your wallet or whatever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Put some mints in there. And the other thing we got is on the front here, on the front of the seat. Oh, that's it, yeah, look at this. You can hang a little shopping bag on there and just keep it between your legs when you're riding. Yeah. But like you were saying, you, you never use it because you've got all that storage. Yeah, well, you can nip down in the supermarket, just whack all the shit in there and off you go. Yeah. I'll give you guys a quick look at the screen. All fancy. So this bike doesn't have any, it's EFI, so it's a... Yeah, Four stroke, 150cc, single fuel injected. Uh, yeah, so it's a dual, dual valve. Yep. A uh, single cylinder, about 11 horsepower. Yep. But, um, yeah, like, you know, you can just filter and get away from the cars at the light so easy. Oh, because you were saying, yeah, the torque. The it's torque, got really so, good yeah, torque. It's really Low end, mid range, but as soon as you're going a bit faster, 80, 90, like you, your torque drops off. Yeah. So you can't really overtake. <clears throat> but yeah, around town, like you can overtake so easy. So you got drum. Drum on the back, yeah. And front, <clears throat> front disc on the front. So what else? The It's got a uh, immobiliser on it, so you've got to have the key to be able to use it. Yeah, so you've got two keys. This is your everyday use key. Yep. And it's a brown key. So if you lose this key, you have to use a brown key to get it recoded. Yeah. So. Yeah. And this is uh, obviously you can have a passenger. You got your little flip out things like that to have someone a pillion on the back, which we're going to give a going to have a shot at. You've never had anybody on the back of this one. Nah. So you got the centre stand. Oh, that's right. Yeah, centre stand. So it's on there. So. And it's got a side stand as well. Yeah. Now you can start it up with the um, starter up. You pull one of the brakes. You get your front brake, rear brake. Pull the front brake in. Oh, there you go. Yeah, cool. All oh, right. So yeah, front brake, rear brake. So this this is uh, was it CVT? Yeah. No, Central. Uh, v Variable transmission, some constant variable transmission. Ah, right, yeah. So, yeah, so basically, you got one gear, so you, you just turn the throttle and just that's it. Off you go. Yeah. And you change the belt, um, recommended time is about 10,000 k. Oh, that's for the, the drive belt? Yeah. Yeah, so no, there's no chain or shaft, it's just nah. belt driven. Um, what else we got? I think that's about it. Yeah. So you got like. Um, no kill switch. Yep. Headlights. It's got running lights when you turn it on. I think that should be on. <clears throat> no, that's it. Oh, so, oh, right. You have to actually turn them on. I didn't think in Australia you're allowed to do that. And you your high beam. Oh, yeah. High beam. Yep. Oh, I've been there, but I just throws out plenty of light. Yep. Indicator, same as the bike. Born. <laughs> That's appropriate. Yeah, yeah cool. Right, eh? So now what we've got to do, take it for a test ride. Right, yeah, guys, so we've got this thing off the side stand. I'm going to turn the key on. Pull either brake. Yep. And then press start. Yep. Oh, look at that. And then twist and go. Twist and go. So no gears whatsoever. <laughs> Brilliant, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, no. All right. Through around the side. So I still got pretty good um, like legs on either side. This is the weird part. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's pretty good. And away we go. This is weird, because I'm wanting to change gears, but you just don't. Oh, it backs off pretty good. Wow. God, I mean, for people that don't want a cheap form of transportation, and let's just generalize, and let's just say, you know, 
a woman or a lady or whatever, a girl wants to have a motorbike because, you know, it's cheap, it's easy, it, you know, parking costs and stuff like that. Uh, actually, let's just give it a... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Away we go. I feel really comfortable on this. I don't feel awkward at all. Brakes, do back and oh yeah that wow that pulls you right up. Cool. Um zip around the corner. Look at that. That yeah, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so I, anybody could ride one of these. Like just you've never ridden a motorbike, you hop on this. And away you go. Like, because I think for a lot of people, it's, you know, remembering one, you know, gear one down, three up, or four up, or five up, or whatever bike you're on, pulling in the clutch, and, and then you've got the brakes, and and then you're, you know, you're on a motorbike. Um, there's so much that's going on in, in people's brains. I keep wanting to change gears. <laughs> Yeah, so now apparently if I sit back, I can put my feet up. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Well, I'm impressed. I mean, you know, obviously a scooter is a bit of a, a bit of a dorky looking thing. But from a practicality point, I think these are pretty, pretty bloody awesome. Blinker around. Using me front brake, tip around. Wow, for yeah, like city living, or if you just like what Pete does, going to work and back. This is bloody brilliant. Oh, my bloody dog's out. What are you doing out, Perks? Pete, that is absolute awesome. That's really odd. Yeah, I just... It just works. Yep. Absolutely works. Just built for commute, so... Yeah, yeah, so... Um, Pete was saying that he, he goes, say, backwards and forwards to the, uh, the hospital, because yep. that's where you work, and you don't have to pay for parking. No. But if you're in a car, it costs you $8 a day parking. Yep. So, yeah. You're saving on petrol, you're saving on parking. Bloody brilliant. All right. Rightio, guys, so now we're going to do the pillion thing. I'm going to uh, ride it first and have uh, Pete on the back. Pete's never actually... You've never been on the back of a bike? No. And he's never actually had ridden with someone on the back with him, but he's going to have a shot at doing me on the back after we do this one. Here we go. This might be a laugh, I don't know. I have the ambos on speed dial. Hey? Have the ambos on speed dial. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Ambos on speed dial. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Jump on. Oh, so what's that? Yeah, wow. It's a tight, tight... Uh, can you, that, is that bottoming out? Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? All right. I think I'm too heavy for what I reckon. We'll just see what happens. So pull that in, start her up. That's out. Got me around this. Yep. Wait for this guy to go with his dog. There you go, mate. Right, <laughs> let's see what happens. I think you have to um, do a pre, pre adjuster. Pre adjuster, yeah. yeah. So you don't have a bad back or anything, do you? No. Nah. Yeah, so we're bottoming out, aren't we? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'll just take it easy. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So if you fixed up your preload, well, we're not bottoming out on those little bumps. Now we'll beat this car around. There we go. <laughs> so obviously, Pete, you being a uh, pillion, you just stay neutral. What's that, mate? You just stay neutral as a pillion? Yeah. yeah. So 
So, I mean, this is just like a, um, you know, whenever you're on a, any bike, when you're riding along like this, you don't really feel the weight. You know, you don't feel unbalanced. Braking. Around we go. Yeah, you know, I can definitely feel the weight on the bike, but it's more when you're going slow. There you go, two two big bloody uh, blokes on the old Piaggio. Make it nice and easy. Hoppa! <laughs> That's awesome. Seven litres, so seven kilos of fuel. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. So that is the Yagio Fly reviewed and tested in the bloody man cave. I reckon that's 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 a brilliant little bike. The only downfall it is, you know, it's the dorkiness look of it. You've had some comments from the bloody blokes at work. Yeah, I have. Yep, pink shirts and <laughs> you know, bloody. Get some Barbie pink, uh, painted pink. Yeah. <laughs> Get some Barbie stickers on it. But, he, yeah. but from a practicality, it's a cheap bike, cheap to run, yeah. nimble, you know, save on your parking. Well, there's probably about 30 people at work who ride scooters. Oh, is there really? Yeah. yeah. So and there's plenty of like, bike parking underneath in the car park, so. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. All right, that's it, guys. Pete, thanks, mate. That was yeah, bloody cheers, brilliant. Mate. Back to the man cave. Rightio guys, so what we are doing today, tonight actually, is I'm going to master the art of, is this bloody lens a bit dirty? Doesn't matter. Um, master the art of soldering. Tonight me and A went to Bunnings and we went and bought one of these. So it's a cordless uh, soldering unit. So basically I got that, a little bit of solder, and two little, uh, two ends. This is the, the normal end that you have, and on the other end of that one, you can see it's like a screwdriver one. Now, I've already used it and tested it, and I think it's bloody brilliant. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, it was $69 from Bunnings, that's $69 Australian, but that's all you get, you don't get the battery. So, put a battery on there. Now apparently, this will get up to temperature in one minute. I've actually tested it and it did it. I think it was it was nearly bang on 60 seconds. So hopefully up there you can you'll be able to see this uh, yeah that flashy light. I'm gonna turn my phone on. I've got it ready to set. So I'm gonna press this button, start that. Can you see that? You can see it flashing. So while that thing's flashing. Um, it's char it's heating up. Once it stops flashing, it means it's to the heat thing. All right, got myself a bit of wire, and you know I've now got this new set of uh, wire cutters, which is absolutely brilliant. I love how this thing bloody works. And if I wasn't doing it the right way, look at that. That's still every time I use this, I go, man, I love this thing. If I was using my right hand, I would have made that look a whole lot easier. So we have that, and what we want to do is join these together. Actually, I might just redo that one. Put that into there. Oh no, I've got to cut it, hang on. Sorry guys, I thought I was going to be all fancy here. Oh, cut that off. Stick that in there, cut that off. So now we're going to have two even sections. I'm just going to wind this together the, the, the shitty old way, not do any fancy bloody threading and need, needling and all that kind of stuff. 
twist this up like that. So that is what we want to do because it, now if we just do that, it's going to pull apart. I tell you what, I tried it, I soldered it. And man, it actually hurt to try and pull the bloody thing apart. Oh, hang on. Oh, I was too busy, guys. So I don't know, we might be able to see that, that it actually did it in 60 seconds. Got a bit carried away there. All right, so let's just do that again. Fast motion, here we go. Fast motion, stop. Okay, so we've got that, and we know that that is not a strong thing. It's gonna pull apart fairly easy. But put a bit of tape around that, you're sweet. But I wanna learn how to solder, so I'm gonna put that in here. This is my uh, special little wire holdy duvalaki. All right, so I'm just gonna, actually, I'll get rid of the phone out of the way so I don't put solder on that. So now this thing should be red hot. And here we go, guys. So, all right, mastering the art of soldering. The idea is to heat those wires first. So get a bit of heat in them. Now, I'm, this is just me learning. Um, if you wanna learn how to bloody solder properly, go and, go and watch another video. This is all a bit of fun. So all we're doing is just bloody uh, warming these up like that. So now what I'm gonna do is just coat See, I'm a shaky bastard. Just coat that on there like that. Oh, it's stuck. Stuck again. So all I'm doing is just pasting that all around. And then when there's blobs on there, I can move this wire around and then just heat that up so it just kind of smooths all over it. I don't know if this is, but it, it works. What I'm doing is working. So now I'm just gonna speed this up so you're not uh, getting bored. And yeah, don't breathe in the uh, the uh, duvalaki stuff. So now, we've got that done. So now I'm gonna try and get this to go the other way. There we go, like that. It's a bit like bloody painting. So I reckon that, so now I can turn this thing off. Check this out. Let's see if we can get this study up there. Oh, come on. Hang on. There you, there you go. Look at that, that is fully coated. The beauty of that, Actually, I should let this cool for a little bit. Let it, let it cool down. Hang on a minute. Bloody hell, somehow I uh, cut me bloody finger, I don't know. Oh, on the wire, that's what I would have done. I just noticed there was blood on me bloody uh, soldering iron. All right, so that's now cool. Let's try and pull it apart. <laughs> and this is what happened last time, actually. Oh, oh. yo. Oh man, that hurts. So I managed to pull it apart, but that really kills your fingers trying to pull that apart. Bloody amazing. So there, there you go, guys. I reckon I have now mastered the art of soldering. Well, like I said, I reckon. So, oh, don't touch that, it's hot, Mark. So yeah, 69 from Bunnings. Obviously, I'm not, um, Sponsored by Bunnings or, or Ryobi. Brilliant. Bloody brilliant. So, chuck it on my thing. Now I don't have to worry about hooking bloody uh, cables in or I could do this anywhere I want. Not that I do a lot of soldering, but there you go. Right, hey guys. Mastering the art of soldering in the man cave. Right, hey guys. So I just finished doing that mastering the bloody art of soldering. Check out what time it is on the big clock. Just making a cup of Fenay, because she's in the woodshed, so let's go and check out what she's doing. Grab the coffee. Oh shit, I can't open the bloody door. 
Now I can't close the door. Bloody hell. Beauty. Through the man cave. Look at little papa. Fast asleep. At least he's not snoring. Oh, damn. Let me in. I have a present. <laughs> I have coffee. You have coffee, yes. Here, take your coffee. Hang on. Thanks. You're a treasure. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, making a mess, because that's how I roll. I can't see. Oh, you're making another one of those, you little... Like yeah, cake... I'm making two, but I've only got one. A cake so. stand. Yeah, so that'll go on there. That'll go on there. So you made one of these, and that's for displaying your stuff at the markets. Yeah, yeah, because we wanted to be able to put different levels. Yeah, but now you're making it to sell because people wanted to buy... People wanted to buy my dodgy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you can't have it, it's really bad. So I thought I'd make some others and who knows, people might buy them. Excellent. If we're lucky. So you've got some more signs up here. Oh, this is for the toilet. Brilliant. Please remain seated for the entire performance. Create the things you wish existed. Existed, because I can read without my glasses. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Brilliant. Love it. So do I. Yeah. All right, I won't hang around as per usual. All right, be off with you. Hang on, guys, I should show you. These are some of the other signs that Nay's been doing. They're all very much of different colour schemes and bloody bits and pieces. So she keeps busy doing all this stuff. Man, look at that. Look at those bananas. They are... Wow, Jesus, they are ripe, aren't they? I think they're ready to be thrown out. Did you wake up, did you? You've been a bit of a snoozy bear. Well, I'll tell you what. <sighs> Have a guess how old she turned yesterday and she was spoiled, absolute bloody rotten. 14. So that makes her, what's 14 times seven? I don't know, she's 97 or, 97 years age, of age, I think. In human ages, obviously. She don't care. Rightio guys, so I just thought I'd share a little moment with you. I'm sitting here in the man cave, it's in the morning, still got me uh, pyjama pants on and me slippers. You're not going to know because all up here it's all normal. So, but I wanted to share the fact that I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm, I'm just having a high at the minute. And the fact is, remember the, the tent that I run? Um, I bought it, it was a hue and light, it was the green and yellow one. I bought it many years ago and then we found the supplier for them and I thought, it, yeah, I would loved it because it worked really well for the motorbikes. Found the supplier and we started selling the, it was the Hauqua 2, which is the two-man tent, perfect for, you know, a bloke and his motorbike and all his gear. Um, and then there's the Hauqua 3, which is great for the really big blokes or if you want to go, you know, two up with the, the motorbikes, plenty of room. And then that company closed down, and I thought, oh no, we couldn't get the tents, and we haven't got the tents on on the on the site at the moment. Um, we haven't had them; we sold out of them. So Nay stumbled across this other company that had the Hauqua Two and the Hauqua Three, different colours, got their logos on it. I was checking out the I'm thinking, that's the same bloody tent, with one exception. At the lower end, it looks like they've raised it up. As anyway, I could. <laughs> Long story long, I contacted them. We've, we've now got we've got our first batch in four of each of these tents, um, and I haven't actually opened up these other ones, which are sitting just somewhere over there. Uh, I've got one sitting here. We're getting to it. Um, so I'm thinking, well, that's a bonus to have it have it taller. It seems like it's, it's they've said it's all the same materials. So there was only slight little changes, and I'm hoping on these other ones. Because we also got what we what they call the Ganya one, and that's a single a single one. And I've just put it up here in the man cave, and I'll just show you. That's it there. And I tell you what, this is brilliant. I love it. So the first the first thing with this tent is there's 
no, you don't have to actually put pegs out to erect it, which is a big bonus. And what I was thinking with the single, most of the single ones don't have a vestibule. So basically, you know, you get to lie in there. That's you know, just one, you're not going to be able to put too much stuff in there. Um, so all your boots and your bits and pieces, but this lady, these two flaps here, it actually comes out and forms a vestibule. So I'm going, oh my God, love it. And they've got the thing that I'm hoping they've done with the other tents is these, these little bloody clicky things. Instead of the toggles, little clip things. That's like, are you kidding me? That is brilliant. So that's the uh, the Hauqua 3 and the Hauqua 2. And the thing where I was, that part there is taller. On the old ones, this used to come down a lot tighter down here, about there. So they've actually increased that. So you're gonna have a lot more room available in it. So, Oh, well, obviously, um, we've got to get these out, got to take photos, get all the information, uh, put them on the website, and I'll be doing, obviously, reviews on these tents. And I'm now thinking, damn, because that's what I normally, if I'm going to do a review, I like to do it um, for the first time, because my reactions to whatever happens, um, yeah, I think comes across a lot better. But I've put this up, and I'll, I, yeah, bloody love it. So there you go, I just want to share that with you. Back to the man cave. Well there you go guys, that's another Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. Hope you all have a ripple week. And I'd like to say a big thanks to the crew, you're all bloody legends. All right, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, just keep on keeping on.